Hello everybody and welcome back to Squid Kitchen. Today's recipe we're going to do chicken and mushroom crumble. Very very simple like all our recipes very simple and so brand master. All you need for this chicken, some pepper, some garlic, mushrooms, chopped or not chopped, flour and butter. The flour and butter that's just for the crumble and the rest we're going to put inside the crumble. So let's get started. Just chop up some chicken. Not too big, not too small, just so it cooks quick in the pan. Because we're going to fry it before we put it into the crumble. There you are. You see the idea, size like that. Easy to fry, very quick. So, I'll continue with that. Oh yeah, by the way, maybe you need maybe one kilo of chicken, that's all. Okay, so I'll continue with that and we'll get it in the pan later. Here we are then. That's the chicken that's cooked, a little bit brown, golden, caramel color, whatever you want. We'll just put this in the tray. For that, then we have the mushrooms. Mushrooms, just add them. There's always one doesn't want to come out, isn't there? Yeah, for that. Ah, by the way, watch out for my upcoming spider videos. I'll show you all how to train spiders. And some cream, maybe two big spoons. What should do for that? Maybe a little extra egg, because we like that. And add some garlic. You can use powder or real garlic. The choice is yours. Some black pepper, and then we just mix all that in together. I know you're all thinking it looks good already, eh? But you're going to have to wait. Very, very simple. Quick, hello, hello. Mix, mix. There we are. Now, that's ready. We can just prepare the crumble. Okay, you see, that's all ready now. Let's start on the crumble part. Maybe one cup, one big cup of flour. Yeah, that looks like a big cup, doesn't it? If you've got even bigger cups, you can make even bigger crumble. And just a little bit of salt. One tiny little spoon, that's all. Oops, forgot to put the spoon in there. And your butter. Salted or unsalted, that's your choice. That's your choice. And don't forget, tong tong paki tong ki tong everyone. Boom ta da ta da, boom ta da ta da, ta da da ta da da, boom boom boom. Good songs, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, butter. Yeah, you're gonna need maybe half of the butter. That's about uh, one hundred grams, round about. We give all that a good mix in. More hello, hello, more mix, mix. So 
very quick, very simple, don't worry. I think we're going to need a little bit more butter in there. Not too much more, it's almost there. Maybe there's another slice or two. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that makes it around about half of the butter. It's all mixed in. Almost there. You can feel it in your fingers when it's ready. So it won't be any more like flour and it won't be any more like butter. It'll be like sleep. See the color changing? It's going into the butter color. So it's almost there. Then once it's ready, we put it into the oven, in the center or at the bottom of the oven, so not right at the very bottom, close to the bottom at around about 180 degrees, so maybe 30 minutes. But it's better to check after maybe 20 minutes, just in case. And then it's all ready to eat. Once it's done, I'll show you the end result. But you won't be able to taste it. Okay, that's looking good, isn't it? Yep, yeah, you see, that's why it's called crumble, because it all crumbles. Yeah. If it's too sticky, if it's too much stuck together, just add a bit more flour. And if it's not crumbly sticky like that, just add more flour, more butter. Here we go then, it's going on the top. Start in the middle, spread it all out. Ah. to get it a little bit even it doesn't have to be perfect just a little bit even there we are and there we are it's all ready for the oven see you in 30 40 minutes and there you have it that was a quick 30 minutes wasn't it all ready to eat now still very very hot so you can eat now get your forks and spoons out ready so if you're all ready to taste it, here is your spoon. Look at the size of that one. That's big spoons for big mouth. Let's try this. There we are. It's all crumbled like it should. Mmm, you can smell the mushrooms and chicken. There you are, everybody. Very simple and very delicious. Masarap. See you in my next recipe.